We introduced the utilization of proprioception and two degree of freedom tails for dynamic traversal of extreme terrain. Legged locomotion is almost entirely dependent on foot contacts and ground reaction forces. In the real world, however, extreme terrains such as rocky hills and curbs where changes in elevation are large enough to invalidate nominal contact schedules and footholds are common. On the other hand, animals like felines can easily traverse these extreme environments. It can be seen from catwalk and falling cats phenomenon that they use proprioception and intelligent limb control. It motivates us to propose new perception and control methods. One common approach to improving performance on roof terrain is to leverage perception to aid controllers such as hybrid IRQR. Exterioceptive sensors such as depth cameras or lidars are easy to deploy, but the created map may not be perfect due to environmental factors. While proprioception such as momentum observer-based contact sensing or learning-based terrain estimation has proven to be powerful and trustworthy. Another approach is to design systems with dynamics that are stable with respect to contact errors. Passive stabilization such as swing leg rejection improves the gait stability but has a limited basin of ejection. Additional actuators like tails or fry wheels that do not rely on contacts can effectively suppress impulsive perturbations, but require non harmonic behavior to maximize maneuverability given the limited angular diffraction. In this work, we propose a proprioception-based gate planner that updates contact, body, foothold, and terrain references based on proprioceptive information and accommodate unexpected hybrid events and elevation changes. In a time-scale decoupled sequential distributed nonlinear MPC for tail control that complements highly under-actuated legs restricted by kinematic and friction constraints caused by orientation errors. The finite state machine uses leg extension and contact force to subdivide the touchdown process and update the contact schedule by reacting to missed contact, landing, and early lift. Missed contact can be identified by checking a leg extension threshold. Landing on solid support can be confirmed by examining the contact force. An early lift can be performed when the leg instance reaches the kinematic limits. We also propose a terrain estimation algorithm designed to estimate unknown elevation changes by filtering foothold history based on contact sensing information to build maps accurate enough with limited sensors to aid future control and planning. The terrain estimation results successfully modeled peaks and slopes. The video shows that as the quadruped walks over roof terrain, the loop mean square error of the elevation estimate of the walking area converges. Even with proprioception, the quadruped still relies on contact, but additional control independent of contact can be obtained by the tail. Leveraging the author's previous work, the tail can account for lag actuation effects without requiring a specific form of lag controller with sequential distributed nonlinear MPC. We also propose a new warm start technique to decouple the time scale between the MPC update rate and finite element discretization and allow a synchronous solving of lag and tail MPC. We measure performance by simulating a quadruped initialized with a row of 0 and 15 degrees, walking over unpredictable elevation changes between 25 and 60 centimeters, and counting the success rate. As shown in the video, without proprioceptive information, it violates lag kinematic constraints and fails. The proprioception-based gate planner successfully modifies the contact schedule in response to altitude changes, and the two of tail suppresses angular disturbance. The success rate without proprioception drops significantly with increasing cliff height. On the other hand, using the proprioception-based gate planner, the robot can robustly walk over ledges up to 1.5 times the leg length with a success rate of over 94%. The final terrain estimation also shows the successfully reconstruction of the step-like height drop, so the robot can be controlled and planned accordingly to adapt the terrain. Under the initial angular disturbance, the success rate without the tail drops significantly with increasing stair height due to the limit of the leg's abduction joint. When the tail was included, the success rate increased from 46% to 91% in the worst case. As shown in the figure, it successfully augments the leg by the non harmonic motion of the tail that rejects angular errors. As a conclusion, this work shows that proprioception and tails improve the extreme terrain traversal performance of quadruped robots. Thank you.